Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about all the things that you should take with you on a long haul flight when traveling with a toddler. Our kids one year old to three years. There are four broad categories. It's food, entertainment, medicine, clothing and miscellaneous. And don't miss out the last one because this has lots of useful stuff that doesn't fall under any of the above three categories but are lifesavers. There will be some pro tips included so keep watching. But before that don't forget to click the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything but it means a lot to me. Let's talk about food first. Apart from all the regular food that you give to your child, um, I'm going to talk about some additional stuff that you should definitely consider taking with you when you are traveling. Ready-made food pouches. I don't recommend it using every day. I always like to give freshly made food, but this for uh, travel could be a lifesaver. The good thing about these prepared food pouches is that most of the kids can self-feed them and then you don't have to use separate uh, forks or knives or bowl and most of the kids love it. I don't know why but they like it a lot. Take some variety with you. Uh, there are mango, there are some sweets, there are some which are um, bland. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of space as well. The next thing that you should take is some, some dry snacks that your kid loves to eat. For example, puffs, some, some of their favorite biscuits. It would be great if they can eat by hand. One pro tip here is to take with you a spill-proof bowl. It will also keep them entertained because they will be able to eat by themselves and it will also save you a lot from all of the mess that kids can make by tossing it over milk. There are a lot of toddler milk uh, powders that are available uh, in market. Just make sure that you already tried with your kid so that you know that your kid likes it and, and keep some, some of it in handy. So a pro tip here is that a lot of airports you would get the packed low fat tetra packs. Uh, most of these milks are tetra packed. That means you don't have to keep them cold or refrigerated. So at least you can keep it uh, for a day or two. It can save you a lot of trouble. Keep additional bottles. The last thing that you want to do is wash your kids' bottles in airport and airplane. Entertainment. So this is another one of the most critical part of your journey because all you want to do is just to have your kid entertained and happy and not throw tantrums all throughout the journey. So this is very important. They are bound to react in different ways which you don't expect. Books. So there are many kind of books that are available, pop-up books, then there are lift a flap book, there are sticker books, coloring books. These books can definitely keep them entertained for some time. One pro tip here is to hide some of the favorite books of your kids three to four days before the journey and give them during the journey so they would be happy to find them back again and probably enjoy it even more. Get some new books as well, something new to explore during the journey. Toys. So in this section, I'm going to talk about everything else apart from mobile phones that you already know. But there is going to be a pro tip coming up with the mobile phones. So for toys, think about something that they can play while being seated. Uh, for example, uh, there are buckle up books where kids can buckle things up. Think about some games that you can play with your toddler or your kid while being seated. For example, peekaboo, play rhymes like pat a cake, it has some hand gestures, similar other rhymes are twinkle twinkle little star. Now talking about the mobile phone, so which everyone wants to jump up to and give it to, your, to their kid but one pro tip here is to keep it to the very end thumb rule of keeping your kid entertained for a long long period of time is to, to always keep their favorite thing till the last moment and start with the things that they don't enjoy that much but still play with it sometime another pro tip about mobile phone is instead of buying internet on flight buy YouTube Red subscription uh, which is around $10 per month and you will be able to download the videos that your kid watch most often uh, in your mobile phone and you won't need any internet. Another option is the onboard entertainment or movies available. The third very important part is medicine. A lot of kids during this age have teething going on 
and it is always painful so make sure to keep teething medicine in handy because you don't want your kid to be crying of pain don't forget to take a small thermometer with you it can be really useful also keep a medicine for fever with you all the time of course you can go and buy it but having it with you all the time is so much easier take this bulb with you this can be helpful in millions of ways clothing and miscellaneous Flight cabins can get very cold. So I would recommend one piece flea pajamas so the kid would be very comfortable and uh, it would be easy changes for you. Keep three to four sets of clothing. Uh, socks is very important because uh, kids might feel cold. Bib is another important thing which will help you with the spills. Keep a cap for your kid, like if it gets really cold inside the cabin. Travel size hand sanitizer, absolutely required. Travel size sanitizing wipes is extremely important as soon as you walk in and reach your seat try to wipe all of the surfaces pacifier wipes is another very very important thing you can actually wipe the things that your kid is eventually going to put it in their mouth using a pacifier wipe you can also clean their toys and bottle nipples if suddenly it happens that you drop the bottle nipple on the floor you don't want to wash it and last very important tip is to be peaceful don't fret about it so just enjoy this moment with your kid it's gonna get over soon